Hello, Rufus. Oh, no, not again. Yeah, I'm happy to see you, too. I want you to repair this junk press for Doc's mobile office. <laughs> oh, right. Mobile office. Sure. Look, don't try to put one over on me, Tony. I know exactly what's going on. This isn't a junk press, and it's not even a tutorial. No, it's simply a recurring nightmare. And the fact that you're here is the ultimate proof. Do you really think this is fun for me? I mean, who needs a tutorial for a point-and-click adventure? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Let's just get this over with, all right? I shouldn't even be here. I'm supposed to be with the Resistance in Port of Fisco battling the Organon. Instead, I'm explaining how to use a mouse to my dumbass ex-boyfriend. Oh, excuse me. You think you need to explain something to me? All right, all right. Which of us has already had to slog through all this garbage twice? Hey, I know this tutorial inside out. To start with, I have to talk to you. Oh, great. Starting right off with the worst bit. Yeah. And to do that, I use, uh... uh... The, um, the mouse, perhaps? I know that. Since when do I need you to help me? Then what are you waiting for? Just point at me with the cursor and left-click as soon as you see the speech bubble icon. Hey! No prompting! Talk to Tony. You don't have to say it out loud. Hey, I'm not talking to you. You are! You clicked on me! Yeah, and I regret it already. At any rate, there's nothing else here you can teach me. You don't even know how to... At, um, hmm. How to look at an object? Everybody knows that. Oh, yeah? So how? You point at it with your mouse pointer and right-click when you see the eye icon. Uh-uh-uh. You mean left. No, I mean right, where the eye icon is. Oh, so that's the right that everybody's always talking about. You know, I always just called it left, too. It's a lot easier to remember. But if you say so, then I'll try your oh-so-wonderful right on this thing that's lying on the ground by pointing at it with the cursor and right-clicking as soon as the eye icon appears. Ah, there. Please, don't overextend yourself. What is it? That is an interference converter. Oh, yeah. First time round, it was the cathode plunger. Then it was the reactor thing head. C can't you guys just be consistent? Mm, whatever. Call it what you want. You just need it to repair the press. And how, pray tell, am I supposed to do that when I can't even pick it up? Mm, you can pick it up. Just point it up with the mouse to make the hand icon appear. Then left click. Nah, there must be an easier way. <sighs> Oops. Where did it go? Didn't you say you know what you're doing? When you pick something up, it lands in your inventory. To open it, all you have to do is click on the handle in the upper right corner. Hey, there it is! Exactly! Now this is your inventory. Yeah, obviously. And here you can see all the stuff you're carrying around with you. You remember how to do that, don't you? And? Are you paying close attention? Absolutely. I should hope so. Otherwise, you'll never understand how to... Uh, uh, hmm. How to end a... By clicking on the last option in the selection menu? <laughs> totally wrong. And? Any luck combining objects? I'm, I'm working on it. Left click on one of the two items to attach it to your mouse pointer. Then click on the other item to combine them. I, I was just about to do that. Hey, look, Tony. I fixed the part. I'll believe that when I see it in use. <laughs> yeah, you will. My tinkering skills are unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> it fits! The next thing you have to do is... Hey, hey, you don't have to hold my hand all the way through this. I can manage the rest on my own. If you say so.
When you're ready, you have to... No, 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 no. Hang on a minute. Just a button. I can manage this without you. Hmm. Hey, Tony. What is it now? What would you say if, this time, I left the honor of pushing the button to you? Fine. I had a bet with Doc that you couldn't do this. What? But I did do it. The press works. Here, I'll show you. <sighs> now I owe Doc five Zlotties, but it was worth it. My fellow Elysium, I know how much you have been looking forward to this day. Regrettably, however, I must inform you that Inspector Cletus and his companion have not yet returned. Therefore, we cannot yet exclude the remote possibility that down on Deconia, part of the population have somehow managed to survive among the junk to this day. Prime Controller Ulysses has confirmed that the Organon is ready to fulfill its mission. As soon as the inspection team gives the all clear on the return from the ruins of Porta Fisco, nothing will stand in the way of the spectacular start of our journey to Utopia. It is only a matter of hours until we can finally give the Organon the signal to go ahead and blow up our home planet. The good news is, due to this delay, the water slide will stay open for now. So this is the third strike, you're dumping me just like a trash bag. Why? Just because of some must. Tart on the carpet, you pathetic doghead. I assume that your humor did just bite the dust. But this isn't over yet. Here you can bet on that. The last part of my day will surely appease and change your mind anyhow. So turn on your death aid now. The story goes on for good things come in threes. The song of things come in threes. I'm just making breakfast here. Fried slug with honey. Oh, <laughs> The allergy medication is in the cupboard with a bear trap. Nonsense. The sludge is just the base. I am fishing. At this very moment, I'm using the diving crane to catch something big. Oh, okay. uh, No problem. Let me fish. We should be in the Sea of Shards by now. Do we have enough packages left? Um, Doc? Yes? This isn't the Sea of Shards. What? Oh, right. I forgot to tell you. I hatched a great plan while you were asleep. What have you done? I found an abandoned on-ramp to the Organon's monorail track. And so I thought to myself, Bozo's Cutter used to be a rail vehicle, right? Right, first. What? You steered us onto an Organon cruiser route. Yeah, and it'll take us directly to the Upper Ascension Station in Port of Fisco. Where the Organon's headquarters are. And where the last high boat to Elysium is anchored. That was the plan, wasn't it? I will use my amazing resemblance to Cletus to sneak on board. Together we go. But... So come on, let's eat something first. <laughs> That's the diving crate. I've got a fight. I thought we weren't on the water anymore. So what? What do you mean, so what? So what took the bait? Uh-oh. <laughs> hey. 
Hey, Doc. Uh, how's it going? Rufus, the cutter is breaking apart. You've got to do something. And I certainly don't mean chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what else is that? <sighs> Definitely a piece for the eye. We should dig in before they do. It's time to tell him everything later, once I find out who's responsible. Have you looked in the mirror lately? Yeah, but I only looked. It wasn't me who burned it. Oh, crap. I guess this means Bozo will finally accept the fact that he needs a new cut. Oh, Rufus, you were so right. You are such a good friend. Ha, it's his own fault. <laughs> what a lot. I was just talking to the Elysian Council of Elders. They're starting to get nervous. We're on our way, Prime Controller. Inspector Cletus and his companion are on board. There will be no further delays. I should very much hope so. Ulysses, over. Treason! Stop the engines, Argus! Cletus, you have no business here. You're supposed to stay in the cabin until we reach Port of Visco. That will have to wait. This woman is not my fiance. Put his eyeballs in the waffle iron! I know that. She's a Deponian with a brain implant, which also happens to contain the cartridge with the mind of your fiance. No, it doesn't. You think this sounds like gold? Chew flesh from their ankles! Rotten vinegar and <laughs> Maybe she's about to have, um. Uh, you know, a uh, visit from Aunt Flo. Rubbish. That Rufus pulled a fast one on me. We need to turn back. You fool. Excuse me, bailiff, sir. There's something on the track. What do I care? Run it over. We have no time to lose. The inspector has forgotten something important, and he's in trouble if he can't find it soon. Up and boss, you will go with Inspector Cletus. As you wish, bailiff. Goal! Goal! Hang on, I'm coming! Out! Ooh. And... might break at any moment. I need to do something. Anything. Gold, what the heck are you doing? I'm trying to free the cable. Please, get off there. It's dangerous. And here I was thinking you don't even know that word. Sure I do. Danger is my middle name. Actually, I meant please. But if you want to help, the crane is awfully wobbly. You need to tighten the screws. Oh, all right, no problem. The crane might break at any moment. I need to do something. Anything. You've chosen a romantic location. Well, you refused to go to the theater. Eh, at least the seats would have been more comfortable. For starters, you might want to tighten the screws. In the meantime, I'll try to free the cable. Consider it done. Huh? Hey! Oops. Oh. Any progress? Well, uh, yeah, there is some uh, progress, uh, so to speak. Uh oh. Whoa! What have you done? Wasn't me. Damn it, Rufus, we're going to fall. No, we won't. I'm slipping. No problem. I gotcha. Yeah. Uh, that's Rufus! 
office? Of course. Don't you know anything? Uh, who are you? Oh, uh, just a fan. Don't pay any attention to me. A what? A fan? Exactly. Just carry on, will you? But uh, just a teeny tiny question first. How are you going to get rid of it? How? Uh, what? You know, what spectacular Rufus maneuver are you going to use? Oh, that. Uh... I'm gonna blindside him with a special karate kick. Oh, a high speed shot. This means I need to decrease the exposure time. Karate, high speed shot, all you're talking about. You'll see in a minute. <laughs> Wait, I used the wrong type of film. Could you maybe stun him with a different trick? Uh, sure. I'm gonna tie his shoelaces together. Ah, a close up shot. Just let me mount my telephoto lens. Did you spray the sprocket or something? I don't have shoelaces. Abort, abort! I've got my telephoto lens here, but the adapter is missing. Can we have that shoelace thing on the back burner? Yeah, whatever. I'll confuse him with my blackout tactics. Ah, a residual light shot. I need to set my flash to the highest level. Blackout? You're bluffing! Perhaps I am. Perhaps I definitely am. <laughs> I'll switch on my night vision, just in case. There! Done! Do your thing, Rufus! Man, this is going to be so epic! Um, okay, okay. One, two... Uh, I'm blind! I'm blind! What? What? <laughs> and... Ta-da! Wow! You actually did it! Yeah. Ah, that's me, you know. How on earth did you do that? <laughs> Wait for the photo. And now you're gonna go save gold, right? Who? Oh! <laughs> her, sure. How are you gonna do that? One thing at a time. The two of us should have a talk first. Um, we should? Yeah. Fan to idol. Wow, what an honor. So, you're a fan of mine. My name is Barry. I traveled for miles only so I could talk to my greatest idol just this once. Well, then let me talk instead of boring me with the story of your empty life. We should use the time for an interview. Uh, really? Shouldn't you be saving gold first? Ah, her. All in good time. A true hero must take care of his fan base. Wow. You really are the greatest. Did you hear about the time I saved Gold from the claws of the Organon? Sure! The story about how you caught her when she fell from the sky is legendary! Almost as legendary as your selfless decision to take her back to Elysium, completely disregarding your own best interest! Legendary? It's epic! <laughs> Do you know how I uncovered the Organon's conspiracy? Well, of course! Walk your way through hundreds of Organon soldiers to beat the truth out of me. That's how you learn that the Elysians are planning to blast the Pony into pieces, but they have no idea that the Pony is inhabited. I'm controlling the Elysians and Argos potentially are keeping this back to secret. And they got Cletus to falsify his report to reflect that. Wow, sounds like you were there. Do you realize it was me who started the rebellion against the Organon? Who else? In the floating black market, you had the idea to look for comrades in arms to fight against the darkness gem. That's where you recruit Yanush, Garlic, and Weevil, who happened to be floating past in a pickle barrel. Gosh, even those are the things I made up. Have you also heard that I prevented the depopulation of the Rust Red Sea? Naturally, you led the rebel attack against an Organon blast tower. You blocked the bomb suspension clamps all by yourself, and then you proceeded to save Gold from the claws of her devious would-be fiancé, Cletus. That's exactly how it happened. How about a little photo session? Oh, fantastic! Hmm, let's see. What would be a suitable subject? I could take a picture of you saving Gold. Yeah, but... Then she would be in the picture too, right? Wouldn't that distract unnecessarily from the protagonist? Quite on the contrary. It would emphasize your selflessness. You think so? Mm. All right, then get ready and uh, make sure my selflessness is clearly visible in the picture. Genius! You 
found the cruiser's manual speed control. Exactly, the manual uh, thingamy. <gasps> I feel another brilliant Rufus maneuver coming up. Yeah, can you try to feel it without making so much noise? Are you going to start the extreme action now? The what? Well, the action. A super extreme Rufus maneuver. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, totally extreme. This is so exciting! Are you going to start the extreme? The well, a super. Uh, yeah. Uh, total. This is. Um, I see you're accelerating the cruiser instead of stopping it like everyone else would have done. That because everyone else is an idiot. And the cutter being caught in the fog is part of your plan as well, right? Uh, sure. Sir, the cannon is aiming directly at the axle. How impressively careless. Wait, Dolph, I'll shoot you free. But you're a crap shot! <laughs> yeah, I'm a crap shot. Ah! Dang, the cannon's aim is off. Go! I will save you. I pull. What are you saying? I pull. My soul belongs to you, my selfless hero. Uh. Yep, I can't understand a word. I've got to get her down from there and fast. I can barely see her underwear. Are you excited? Like an egg in a platypus egg catapult. Hey, how long have you been watching me? Uh. Quite a while. Whoa, that's uh, <laughs> incredible. Incredibly appropriate. Um, please see those parts fly. <laughs> oh, bummer. No more ammo. Sir, the cannon is aiming directly at the axle. How refreshing is Ellen? Um, woohoo! Faster still! This is so rad! My coat is on fire, but I'm still very happy to be part of this. Luckily, the Organon is known for its excellent fire protection measures. Nah, that's just propaganda. I bet my boots to your boots on that. Hey, wake up! You're sleeping through the peak of my selflessness! Rat.
<laughs> Did someone leave the window open? So the cutter struck sails, wrecked as Tony's mum scales, and up as much a whale for the long road ahead. Still the mood in the group was just super whoopy doo yeah, except that they slowly grew ripe for the bad. For they knew that they would have to go on by foot, and no problem for such a walk is all the less stressful if you sing along with a motivating song. And to emphasize this, I flood the cabin of the coast guys with helium gas. <laughs> I took out that organon with my shadow attack. Did you see that? For the thousandth time. That was so cool. They call him Rufus. Rufus. Oh. Everybody now. He's cool and he's smart. It's something, something modern art. What? Hey. Where are you going? There's a hotel down there. I really need a wash, especially for my ears. But, but, go? Come on, Rufus. Are, are you mad at me? Dirty, battered, humiliated, all of that. But mad at you? No. It was actually kind of cool. Oh, yeah! Something, something modern art! Haha! <laughs> <laughs> -ha, stairs! Dark and steep and slippery. Huh. I'd better take a jump, after all. I hate to... Uh, fall on my butt. That would be too embarrassing. Occupied. Uh, Are you ever coming out of there? Don't rush me. I'm suffering from severe temporal diarrhea. Temporal diarrhea? Yes. I'm a time traveler. You mean you come from the future? Nonsense. Oh, oh. There is no future. I came from the past to watch the end of the world. Ah, uh, here we go again. Then you're in the wrong place. I'm the guy who's going to prevent the end of the world. Oh! That would be very nice of you. I'm stuck here, you know. Why? Is your time machine clogged? Not exactly. There's no more toilet paper. Hey. That was irony. Naturally, I don't believe a word you've said. Well... It wasn't exactly the whole truth. Ha! I knew it! There's... One roll of toilet paper left. But it's as rough as sandpaper. Oh! Oh, and I had the chili during the toxic civil war! Oh.
Aw, that'll take hours. Which does not mean that I believe his story about the time machine. Hey, what's going on here? Kum, hum, kumbaya. Uh, okay. Uh, hello, you, uh, <laughs> you friendly hooded people who clearly belong to a, uh, non-violent organization. Um, are you standing in line for the washing machine? Kum, hum, kumbaya. Dooba, 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 uh, you wouldn't mind if I, if I go first, right? Okay. Act weird once for sure. No problem, pal. Hum, hum, kumbaya. Cool. <laughs> then if if I could just. Uh... Hum, hum, kumbaya. No. Darn. That's pretty huge, considering there isn't a single bit of clean laundry in the entire hotel. You know, open flames in a laundromat is <laughs> it's really not a good idea. That could burn down half the village. And then everybody points at you again. And they take away your flamethrower. And fire the friendly preschool teacher for failing to provide proper supervision. <laughs> um, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> Is this going to take long? Boom, hum, kumbaya. Darn. Um, <laughs> Is this going to... Oh. Darn. This door, and he will bear the sign of the beast. I know that voice. That's and a dull knocking will precede his arrival, and he will say, "Ow! Oh, 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 that's, that's gonna leave a bum." A... Hey, don't mock me. You wait a second. I know you. You're very busy. No, you're the guy with the pipe. The soothsayer from Porta Fisco. No, I'm not. You're a liar. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Which basically disqualified me from being a soothsayer, doesn't he? Uh, that's just hair splitting. I still think you're the fortune teller. Ah, I'm often confused with someone else. For example, with Anne Scar Meatcap, the famous hat model. Are you pulling my leg? Why? We go to the same barber. Come on. I recognize you. What are you hiding? Hmm? Nothing. Unlike Ansgar, that vain fop. Hmm. Are you planning on going on a journey? Just a little fishing trip. But it looks like you've completely pulled up stakes. I'm hunting big fish. And that's why you're taking all your living room furniture? My house sitter has the mumps. Hmm. What was that mumbling just now? Are you talking to yourself? I don't know what you're getting. It sounded like some sort of dubious apocalyptic sermon, like you might expect from some sinister sect leader. Ah, yes, that. I was just rehearsing a song for my niece's birthday party. And the destroyer will come through this door? Beepo, the destroyer, king of comedians, do, 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 da. And he will bear the sign of the beast? He bears the sign of the hippie beast. He does an elephant impression. Dee, do, do, be, do. <laughs> bo, bo, be, <laughs> hey. <laughs> be, bo, bo, hey. Congratulations, Emil Louis. Emil Louis? Yeah, it's a popular girl's name on the Chapinot Coast. Mm. 
What's with the strange outfit? Are you in some weird sect? This is just a bathrobe from the hotel. Oh yeah? Did the hotel also embroider the end is nigh on there? They mean the end of the early bird booking period. The end of the early bird booking period is nigh. Book your vacation at Hotel Meneteco now. <laughs> you don't happen to know those guys from the laundry room. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, they're carrying candles, singing in minor keys, and they're wearing the same outfit as you. Well, I wouldn't worry about it. Probably just a harmless glee club. They painted a pentagram on the floor. Ah, circle of fifths. No doubt about it. Ah! Stop pretending. I see through you. Oh dear. That was to be expected. Of course, you were right. I am the fortune teller. But... I don't like to use my abilities. Oh yeah, there's nothing but junk on for the future, right? More precisely, there's nothing on. The world is coming to an end. Huh? Yes, that was also my first reaction. The second was to pack all my things up and run away. But that's nonsense. I know, one cannot escape one's fate. Exactly, you have to come to terms with it. What? No! That is why I gathered like-minded people around me, to prepare for the unavoidable together. You founded an apocalyptic sect? Hey, can you think of a better time? The world won't end today. Correct. It will happen tomorrow, shortly before the late news. Ha! Not if I can prevent it. Also true. Unfortunately, you can't. Tch, we'll see about that. Wrong. Our eyes will have long since burned away when it happens. Oh, you know better about everything, huh? Yes, an occupational hazard. I'm going to put a stop to your bunch of superstitious yahoos. But we aren't doing anything wrong. Oh, of course not. You just want to call down the end of the world. Oh, we do not. The end can no longer be stopped. All that is left to us is to prepare for it. Spiritually. I see. So you're getting hammered. A sort of rap party for the planet. Quite the contrary. It is a matter of symbolically washing ourselves clean of our sins before the end comes. <laughs> so just soft drinks? I'd rather go to the real Satanists. At least they know how to party. Your pals are clogging up the laundry. Patience, my friend. The ritual won't take long. Yeah? What are they waiting for, then? I need to use the washing machine. Well, they are waiting for their guru, of course, for me. Then what are you doing here? I am preparing for my big speech. The world doesn't come to an end every day. I want to look good. What are you doing here, anyway? I am preparing for my... The world doesn't... I think you look just fine. Oh, you think so? Hmm, no, something's not quite right yet. Perhaps I should pluck my eyebrows again. What makes you think the world will come to an end? The signs were clear. Last night, the horizon was in flames. Oh, you don't mean my barbecue, do you? Then, it rained fire. From the heavens. Yeah, okay. I shouldn't have used the cheap briquettes. And frogs? I, I told Doc they weren't done yet. Finally, the water of the ocean turns to blood. Okay, I get it, I get it. My little barbecue party got a bit out of control. So what? But that doesn't make me a horseman of the apocalypse. Yeah, I, I know it said so on the flyer, but that was just for PR. Can I have your robe? No, but if you participate in our ritual, you will get your own. Are you nuts? There's absolutely no way I'm going to take part in your eerie apocalyptic sock off. It is a self-purification ritual to cleanse you of your sins. It is a matter of symbolically washing ourselves clean of our sins before the end comes. What sins? I'm busy saving the world, strictly speaking. I'm sort of a saint, and I already washed this one. I have seen it otherwise. Oh, come on! No, these robes are intended only for people who are willing to wash themselves clean. Oh, spare me. I'm out of here.
I have seen it otherwise. Yeah, you're beyond help. As are we all. Ah, uh, Dentosaurus. Put a dino on your toothbrush. Hey, that's the same brand I used as a kid to fake having a fever. Huh. Says here, Dentosaurus toothpaste is a chemical waste product and not suitable for internal use. Possible side effects. Fever. Sweaty feet. Permanent loss of the awareness of danger. <laughs> Under no circumstances may Dentosaurus toothpaste be mixed with rug cleaner because dangerous chloroform gas may develop. <laughs> wow, I should read hazard warnings more often. I actually thought toothpaste was useless. <laughs> like taking candy from a baby, just with fewer cavities. Mr. Toffee. Weird name for a tarantula. Hope it's not connected to its camouflage. Hey! Leave Mr. Toffee alone. What if I fail, and the world really does end? Oh no! I am the greatest. There's nobody here. <laughs> That's nice. Then I can come in. What? No, stop! Too late. Uh, hello? You there? Under the sheet? There's nobody under the sheet! Don't be silly. I can see you. You're seeing a ghost? Can't be. I don't believe in ghosts. Especially not the creepy sort that hang around in dark hotel rooms and are eternally trapped between worlds until their poor souls finally find relief. I'm not a ghost, and it would be a release if you would disappear. Not so hasty. If you aren't a ghost, what are you doing here all by yourself? In the dark, right next to that peephole into the next room. Um, I... Ooh, I am a ghost! Go away, or you will feel my supernatural ghostly strength! Unless, of course, you're from room service. I am room service. Very well. Then please clear away the dishes by the door. Huh? But there aren't any dishes... But... Oh, just a sec. There's something here after all. Ow! Shards! Ow! Another shard! And... Aha! Uh -huh, this isn't a shard. It's a knife. Ouch! That already has a nut. Let's just hope those are all toothpaste stains. That's hardly any use as a spread. That already has enough toothpaste stains. Let's just hope those are... Uh, before I go... Oh my, this is where the sheet hits the fan. Hey, why does a ghost need room service? <laughs> to change the sheets. Keep your hands off my sheet! <laughs> sure thing. I can imagine how uncomfortable it is when the edge gets tucked so far under the mattress. A friend of mine once got caught in a laminating machine. He cried all night long. Fortunately, I remembered how to shut the machine off the next morning. Uh, uh-huh. But as I said, this is not about the sheet. Just clear away the dishes. And why do you need dishes? For a midnight snack? Oh, yeah. Logical. 
I don't think you're a ghost. And how, may I ask, did you come to that conclusion? Very simple. Ghosts only appear to those who blame themselves for something. They're sort of like a guilty conscience made material. Uh, guilty conscience? Me? You have some ideas. You better believe me. I blame myself for absolutely nothing. Oh, come on. Everybody has some guilty secret. Yeah, I don't have any guilty secrets. Not a single one. Why else would Gold take me with her to Elysium? In the short time we've known each other, I've already thrown her from a moving Organon cruiser, twice, poured espresso made from battery acid down her throat, uh, split her mind into three, and this morning, I accidentally grouted the baby turtle she tried to nurse back to health with quick-drying cement. But she forgave me for everything. My conscience is clear. Have you ever thought that maybe it isn't a matter of whether this goal forgives you, but whether you forgive yourself? Whoa, that would be totally egotistical. I don't think so. Okay, fine, I forgive myself. There, and now? What, and now? Well, you're still here. If you were really a manifestation of my guilty conscience, wouldn't you have dissolved now, or something? Maybe I have to forgive myself. Of course! Just like in My Friend the Phantom Astronaut. Come on, hop to it. Just, just forgive yourself. It's not that easy. I am really very ashamed of myself. Well, how are you going to find redemption, then? Well, I thought I'd just stand here in the dark and fight against it. Oh, man, what a crybaby. <sighs> All right. What's your guilty secret, then? Isn't it obvious? You're a bedwetter. Rubbish. Look at where I am. In a dark hotel room. Next to... A hole in the wall. And what does that tell you? Oh, I got it! You like to drill holes! No! Huh? But, uh, wait a second. You don't mean... Yep, I like to listen to people while they sit in the shower. <laughs> ah, guilty, Shinobi. Let's talk about something else. Gladly. Can I turn on the light? There is no light here. Only darkness and shame. Charm? Shame! Oh yeah, charm. I'm very charming. No shame! Good grief, you must know shame! Oh, uh, yeah, shame, of course. <laughs> Those little, uh, shame-shaped things. Shame, yeah, sure. And I'm sticking with it. No haunting without a guilty secret. Yes, and? Guilty schmilty. Let's talk about something else. Gladly. And I'm yet. Yeah, what was your guilty? I like that. <laughs> I gladly. Hey, nice sheet. Keep your hands off my sheet. You need it much longer. As long as you're here, yes. Oh, I was just leaving. I should be so lucky. Excuse me? Um, uh, be gone. Be gone! Oh! Oh, oh that's better. Hey, stay by the door where I can see you. Well, I thought I was supposed to go away. Yes, right. Go away. Hey, can't you make up your mind? Hey, stay by the door where I can see you. Well, I thought I was... Yes, right. Hey, can Huh, locked. Doc? No answer. But there's somebody in there. I hear voices. Huh. Locked. Bozo? No answer.
Wow! With a fun slime troll and one out of every five pies! Rad! And all these years, I thought they weren't allowed to make these anymore. Who needs change when he's got magic fingers and an undeniable knack for vending machines of every sort? Ouch! What a bummer! The vending machine only takes coins! What were they thinking? Putting a dumpster for fish guts right under the guest rooms, when there's a perfect balcony to throw stuff over! You can find the craziest stuff in the trash! A pelican, that's not crazy. Mild odd, maybe. <laughs> Doesn't seem to like that, although the same is true for the fish guns. <laughs> Doesn't seem to although the same. are scrambled. I shouldn't get up so fast. Or get a little exercise. Whoa! Don't creep up on me like that! Creep? I rang the bell. Phew! I thought it was my tinnitus. It wouldn't surprise me, though, with all that noise from the cruiser route, not to mention the cold draft or the mold, but I digress. Welcome to the Hotel Menetekel. Would you like to rent a room? Uh... Actually, I was just looking for my friends. A geriatric garden gnome, a girly giraffe, and a circus bear in a hat? That's them! Yeah, they just checked in. They didn't look like they could afford a lawyer, so I gave them room five. But don't worry. As long as they don't touch any light switches, electrical sockets, or load-bearing architecture, they should survive the night. Provided they stay in the room after midnight, of course. Which reminds me, do you happen to have unfinished business with demons, dark gods, or the recently dead? Uh, not that I know of. Super! That's all right then. You have no idea how squeamish some insurance companies can be when it comes to supernatural causes of death. Here's your key. Please have a pleasant stay here at Hotel Menetekel. Uh, thank you, my good man. Are you insinuating that this place is haunted? Not at all. We're safe here in reception. It's the rooms I'd worry about, especially room 13. Why? What's wrong with room 13? Let's just say it was a mistake to bury the Indians there. Oh yeah, and an apocalyptic cult has occupied the laundry. So if you need clean bedding, you should make sure you don't carry any religious insignia or virgins with you. How will I find my room? Oh, probably horrible. I wouldn't want to spend the night in there. Oh, why do I bother? Many Tekel. That's a strange name for a hotel. You think so? It's Many Tekel. I've always thought the name was cute. It means something like impending doom. That's what I mean. Who wants to live with impending doom? Don't we all do that? Uh, right, but if you have a choice. But you don't. Or have you seen another hotel around here? Strange location for a hotel, right under the Organon Cruiser Hmm, you think so? Our surveys have shown that this is the ideal location for customers in our target group. Ugh. People without a sense of smell? People who are so desperate that they'll accept anything. Huh, <laughs> them. Haven't you heard the rumor that Deponia is going to be blown up? Of course! That's why popcorn is sold out everywhere. Well, it's all true. But I'm the one who's going to prevent it. That's fantastic. Now, I thought I would wind up having to do that. What? For one thing, I was forced to clean the toilet this week. Is that supposed to be a joke? 
<laughs> Got me. Of course I didn't clean the toilet. That'll be the day. Hello, I'm talking about the greatest catastrophe of all time. Ah, so you've already seen our toilet. I'm going to my room. Yeah, do that. I won't stop you. And before you ask, that does not constitute an act of negligent bodily harm. You've had that checked. I like his work attitude. It's fashionable, comfortable, and keeps your head warm. Ah, the guest from number five. Are you going to check out already? What? Uh, no. Hmm. Looks like I lost that bet. What can I do for you? I'm going to my room. Yeah, do that. I don't think much of modern art, but this is good. It's drawn from the perspective of a person who unsuspectingly opens the urn of his dear departed mother and then dies of a heart attack because of the spring-loaded flowers popping out at him. <laughs> what a pity it's hanging so crooked. Aha! Here we have the perpetrator. Huh, a nut. Who needs tools when he has hands like vice grips? Pretty slippery, my vice grips. Oh, yeah, that would work. Not! Let's see if there's anything left in here. There actually was something left in there. Dust! Because it died. Because it died. Just 15 more hotel restaurants. This plan could do with some uh, spicing up. But I was thinking along somewhat different lines. Oregano. The only thing this dust can do is trigger a cough reflex, but it does that very well. Not necessary. There's a... Not necessary. all this stuff. Did you just set it up? No. Neurofusion chambers are standard in this hotel. Of course we did. Huh, pretty speedy. And, uh, what does one do with a, uh, Nero thingy? Can you watch scrambled channels? That too. But most importantly, it will repair Gold's brain implant. Brain? 
Okay, you know, remerging the aspects of her character. Yes. Her entire consciousness was stored on a cartridge. Right, together with the ascension code. That you need to gain access to the high boat. Exactly. After this procedure, Goal will be her old self again. And then you can make use of the shower. Shower? Why? Uh, for the Ascension customs? Or did you think they'd let you into Elysium like that? What? And just what is that supposed to mean? I'm just saying, considering everything we know about that Cletus. He is an extremely clean person. So, if you want to pretend to be him, shower. Hey, let me deal with that. You take care of Go, or do I have to help you with that as well? Not necessary. It's almost ready. Cool. Uh, almost? Oh, what do you mean, almost? Oh, uh... Nothing bad. I just have to calibrate the data interface. Uh, and once again, I have to do all the heavy lifting, right? Not at all. No problem. I can delay a data thingy with one hand tied behind my back. You just have to press here. And Rufus, no! That throttles the fuel rods. Ah, they can handle it. Uh, Rufus... This calibration is really much too easy for you. Why don't you take care of the much more difficult professional mission? Professional mission? Of course. Doc still needs this thing that can't be found in this hotel room. Oh, um, exactly. That, uh, plasma... Uh, exchange. Uh, Whoop-dee-doo. Mammoth fur. Relay. A plasma exchange whoopie doo mammoth fur relay? Hard to come by. Huh, for beginners like you, maybe, but for a pro like me, it'll only take a jiffy. I've seen a bag like that somewhere else. May I borrow your bag? Sure. Go ahead. So far, you've only taken away my home and my livelihood. Why not also take the bag with the last of my possessions? Hey, <laughs> cool. Thanks. Very considerate. Ah, it's stained. Hey, that was irony. I thought as much. Maybe next time you shouldn't put it next to the toilet when you're taking a pee. Why do we never see his legs? Hey, Doc! For the thousandth time, Rufus, you'll only get your ball back when you tell me how the leftover pudding got into my particle accelerator. First of all, that wasn't pudding. And second... And... How's the calibration coming? It would go a lot faster if you... <clears throat> got a plasma exchange whoop doo mammoth for real, right? Um, exactly. Hey, what would you ever do without me? I have to go. You've kept me from my vital... The farther you are from the room... Hey, bozo, you old... Pirate. Go ahead and say it. Huh? Nah. How can you be a pirate without the cutter? I was gonna say, you old liver spot repository. <laughs> you better get dressed. You don't want to shock Gold into another coma as soon as she wakes up, do you? Wasn't that awesome before? I suppose. Aw, you're unhappy, aren't you? Unhappy doesn't even come close. I certainly would be in your place. <laughs> After all, you slept through all the cool action. Come on, give me a smile. Why should I? My cutter is wrecked. Aw, it's not the end of the world. The world is ending. Not until tomorrow morning. And there's nothing to eat here. And I'm hungry. Ugh, complain, complain, complain. You almost sound like my ex-girlfriend, Pony. Or my ex-best friend, Wenzel. Or anybody else who spent a lot of time with me. And that doesn't make you think. Heh, <laughs> a whole lot more would have to happen to make me think. Yeah, that was my impression too. Now, don't you think we should get dressed? I can't. My clothes are in the laundry. And if I bring them to you, will you finally cover up then? Why should I? 
You must be freezing. Not really. There's a draft from the holes in the window, but the putrid air from the heater balances it out. What if the heater goes out? Why don't you just tell me what you're planning? Then you won't have to constantly come up with some crazy scheme. Yeah, but where's the fun in that? I mean, where's the kick? Where's the challenge? I'm telling you, you're gonna catch the whooping paws. Rubbish. My tongue would be completely blue. I would have a cough, the sniffles, and a fever. Blue tongue, cough, sniffles, fever. Got it. Rufus, you aren't planning to infect me with whooping pox, are you? Uh, 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 uh. I only said you would catch it. How you do that will be my little secret. Your nakedness is throttling my sense of aesthetics. No, no, don't! <laughs> Especially when you do that thing with your legs. After all, there's a lady present. Goal? She seems rather absent to me. And as long as she is, why would you begrudge me a little leg room? <laughs> you have no idea how hard it is to find pants that fit in my size. All right. There's an absent lady present. But is that a reason to asphyxiate her? She's already blushing. Um, Rufus? I think you're standing on her breathing tube. Huh? I, whatever. This isn't about any stupid tubes. This is about, uh, um... Leg room? Exactly. Not that I have any less leg room. I'm thinking about Doc, too. Don't worry about my leg room, boy. Speaking of which... How come we never see your legs, Doc? Let's just leave it at that. Don't worry. Whatever. I need your towel. Okay. No, no, don't! You just don't know what you want. <laughs> New eyes! Ah, do whatever you want. Okay. Except that thing with your legs! Ugh. Anything but that! Ugh. Sorry, don't take it personally. It's just your... Ugh. My eyes are smarting already. Ugh. No, Rufus. I need the one-third screwdriver for the operation. And I need it to randomly combine with items. I said, hands off! All right, all right. A one-third screwdriver. How handy. I never fasten screws by more than one-third, because at some point they fall out by themselves. With this, you can get a connection to the reception desk and small blisters in the corner of your mouth. Here, I got your clothes from the laundry. Now please get dressed. Why should I? You must be freezing. <laughs> Not really. There's a trap. What if the heater... Why, then you won't have to... Yeah, but where's the fun in that? Hello, reception? You are a dead man. I'm... what? <laughs> no joke. This is reception, of course. Always at your service, unless you're the guy stuck in the elevator. Elevator? I haven't seen an elevator here. Neither have I. That's why I can't help you. Please get off the line. Wait! I'm calling from my room. Well, well, that's different then. What's your room number? Room 5. Really? You loser. Uh, how can I help you? I'd like to eat something. Ha! <laughs> You've got guts! I like that. Have you picked up your menu from reception? We urgently need fresh towels. Oh, then you're in the wrong hotel. We haven't had anything like that for years. But what am I supposed to take home as a souvenir? Uh, how about an infectious disease? Believe me, you'll remember us for years to come. Provided the world hasn't ended by then. Can I do anything else to you? Tell me, you wouldn't happen to have a Plasma Exchange whoop de doo Mammoth Fur Relay? Mm, it's possible. Wait a moment while I check in the basement. Hey, I can hear you breathing in the receiver. Mm, you 
caught me. Nevertheless, you still have to pay your bill for internal telephone calls. Can I do anything else to you? Oops. <laughs> Wrong number. No problem. That happens a lot. We think it's because of the electromagnetic radiation from the nuclear waste dump or the Indian burial ground. One of those. Hello, reception? Always at your service. What's your room number? Room one. That's impossible. Room one hasn't been rented out. And there are no voices from the beyond there either. Unlike in the other rooms, come up with a better story. Oh, did I say room one? <laughs> of course, I meant... Room three. Ah, I finally got a hold of you. I've got a number of complaints about you here. Noise disturbance, odor disturbance, regular disturbance, molestation. Oh, no. Wait, those are about me. Whatever. More importantly, you still haven't paid for your delivery. Why do you need all those chickens anyway? Uh, did I say room three? Uh, of course. Room nine. Whoa! The demons from the cursed room! Well, the most cursed. Why can't you just leave me alone? I've done everything you demanded. The old married couple, the friendly author, even the young actress. All dealt with. All right, I didn't put fresh sheets on your beds, but I have to draw the line somewhere. Uh, did I say room nine? Uh, of course. Oops. <laughs> no problem. She's unconscious again, but this time it's part of the plan. I'll save you, and then it's off to Elysium. Mammoth fur? Really? And whoop de doo All right. Thing I need. And the suit must be cleaned on a cold wash. Do I make myself clear? As clear as clay. My assistant will pick it up tomorrow morning. Meanwhile, fill out the registration, Oppenbot, and take good care of the bag with the money. Apparently, only rabble work in this so-called hotel. Somebody works here? Excuse me, Inspector, but isn't that the bag with my plasma exchange will be do mammoth fur relay? Don't be silly, Oppenbot. The bags are identical. Yours is already in our room, and that's where I'm going to retire now. I hope it isn't as shabby as the service here. Cool, close shave. I hate that stuck-up idiot. Better stay alert. He must be looking for gold, but at least I know where I can get that plasma exchange whoop de doo mammoth fur relay. If I just take it, Oppenbot will notice and sound the alarm. What's missing here is a plan full of arrows and catapults and pitfalls and unpredictable twists. Or at least a couple of cool 3D special effects. Shards and more shards. What's he gonna do with all these shards? Ah! Money! For a machine, he seems awfully stressed out. And I haven't even started. Better stay under cover.
can't get at it that way. First, I have to get the washing machine running again, if that Sonic Club will let me. Ah, uh, what will it cost to use the machine before you? It will cost you your soul, which will burn in eternal fire. It will cost you your seat. At the table of final judgment, it will cost you peace with yourself for eternity. It will cost you everything. It will cost you nothing. Oh, boy. <laughs> Can you make change? Um, no, just the wind. <laughs> that was to be expected. Not even the wind knows how to behave here. Duh. What a bummer. The vending machine only takes coins. broken stuff in here and now that I took his money that's what he is broke 